cultivation of mind should be the ultimate aim of human existence. They cannot make history who forget history. Be educated, be organized and be agitated. If you believe in living a respectable life, you believe in self-help which is the best help. We must stand on our own feet and fight as best as we can for our rights. So carry on your agitation and organize your forces. Power and prestige will come to you through struggle. Law and order are the medicine of the body politic and when the body politic gets sick, medicine must be administered. Life should be great rather than long. Indifferentism is the worst kind of disease that can affect people. Constitution is not a mere lawyer's document, it is a vehicle of life and its spirit is always the spirit of age. A bitter thing cannot be made sweet. The taste of anything can be changed. But poison cannot be changed into nectar. A great man is different from an eminent one in that he is ready to be the servant of the society. I measure the progress of a community by the degree of progress which women have achieved. The relationship between husband and wife should be one of closest friends. If I find the constitution being misused, I shall be the first to burn it. Unlike a drop of water which loses its identity when it joins the ocean. Man does not lose his being in the society in which he lives. Man's life is independent. He is born not for the development of the society alone, but for the development of his self too. Humans are mortal. So are ideas. An idea needs propagation as much as a plant needs watering. Otherwise both will wither and die. Lost rights are never regained by appeals to the conscience of the usurpers. But by relentless struggle. Goats are used for sacrificial offerings and not lions. History shows that where ethics and economics come in conflict, victory is always with economics. Vested interests have never been known to have willingly divested themselves unless there was sufficient force to compel them. It is not enough to be electors only. It is necessary to be lawmakers. Otherwise those who can be lawmakers will be the masters of those who can only be electors. Slavery does not merely mean a legalized form of subjection. It means a state of society in which some men are forced to accept from others the purposes which control their conduct.
Justice has always evoked ideas of equality, of proportion of compensation. Equity signifies equality. Rules and regulations, right and righteousness are concerned with equality in value. If all men are equal, then all men are of the same essence, and the common essence entitles them of the same fundamental rights and equal liberty.